Hey guys, it's Sam here, the founder of Click Start Digital. In today's video, I wanted to discuss the future of online retail. Right now, we're in very uncertain terms. With obviously this pandemic going on of the coronavirus, a lot of people are feeling very unsettled about the future. So I'd like to point out a few things that have changed recently within the retail space. There's been a lot of change that I'm sure we've all seen at bricks and mortar stores closing down. So in 2019, there were quite a lot of big online retail giants closing their stores. Some of these included Jeans West, Kiki K and Bardot to name a few. And what we've seen is they've focused more on their online stores. So this has been going on for quite some time and I'm sure we've, you've noticed that when you walk down your street, there's a lot of the shops that you see open and then all of a sudden they're closing. There's a reason for that. People's buying behaviours are changing. More people shop online than what they ever have before and now with the coronavirus it's only taken that to a whole other level. I mean look at Amazon recently, they had to hire over 100,000 people in the last few weeks to uh, handle all the sales and all the revenue that they're getting uh, in and, and to help out with their warehousing. It's just, it's crazy times. Another example is I know of a online furniture store that they've been going since 2014. And I was told last week that they've seen some of the biggest revenue in the last couple of weeks than what they've ever seen in, you know, in the last six years. So if those things don't tell you something, I don't know what else would. So to point out the obvious, bricks and mortar is eventually disappearing and online is growing. We've seen it in the last five to ten years shift. And now with things like the SARS and then now the coronavirus, these pandemics are just accelerating this. It's pushing more people to shop online. What's interesting to note is the SARS virus was very similar to the coronavirus, had a very similar impact on everything to what the coronavirus is having uh, right now. And what we saw was SARS was actually probably the turning point for e-commerce. That's when e-commerce went from nothing to just all of a sudden growing exponentially and that was due to the, the SARS virus. So we believe that with the coronavirus obviously now happening as we're living it, um, it's going to have a huge impact as well on e-commerce in a positive way. So historically, even if you look at the 2008 uh, global financial crisis, I mean there were some amazing innovative businesses that came out of that time. I know this isn't relevant to e-commerce, but if you look back you'll see companies like Uber came out in 2008-2009, Slack, Airbnb, Pinterest, WhatsApp, to name a few. There were amazing companies that were developed during the GFC. So whilst everyone finds this a very uncertain and scary time, it can actually be a positive in some ways. The economy and things will change, but with that will come new, innovative business ideas. And right now, with the government implementing all these stimulus packages to increase spend, this will also help with online retail. More people working from home at the moment and I think this is really going to change the way people live and the way that they work. Companies are going to start realising that it's probably cheaper for their staff to work at home and staff are probably more productive versus being in an office surrounded by other people and distractions. So what we're probably going to see in the next coming years from this is a lot of change with how we live and how we work. Another impact that we're seeing right now is banking. So the banks are more open to lending and obviously the interest rates are probably some of the lowest interest rates we've ever seen. So with those two things are happening hand in hand, that will also help a lot of people refinance mortgages or perhaps borrow more money to start a business or do a project or a side hustle. Um, so those things will also have a positive impact on the economy and also obviously on the e-commerce side of things. I also had a little bit of intel recently that one of the major shopping centres in uh, Australia, they're a huge chain. They're actually, they've been in discussions for the last couple of years with people in the health and wellness sector. Reason being is they recognise that online shopping is taking over and as the years go on, more and more stores will be closing down. So they're trying to work out what they're going to do with their shopping centres. So they're considering things like turning them into health and wellness um, centres and loading them full of shops that are relevant to, you know, day spas and massage therapists and nail therapists and hair salons and things like that. So that could be the future of the way shopping centres go in the long term. 
So guys, that's my video for today, just discussing what's happening right now and the impact it's going to be having on online shopping or e-commerce. I hope you found this video useful. Now make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel to keep up to date with business news and trends. And I look forward to seeing you back here again soon. Thanks.